For the entirety of human history, we have built relationships with the ocean. It is a source of inspiration, food, and tradition around the world. Only now are scientists exploring the potential of harnessing the ocean's power for clean energy. Hopes are high for wavefront technology to reduce our dependency on fossil fuels and slow down global climate change. Wave farms are economically viable and environmentally essential in increasing our use of renewable energy because they provide consistent, reliable energy and have been shown to have secondary conservatory effects. But how does wave energy work? Power from the waves is based on wind speed, wind duration, size of the water body, and ocean currents. This means that the best wave resources are where strong winds have been pushing water over long distances. For example, the west coast of Europe near Portugal and the UK. Currently, the European Marine Energy Center recognizes eight basic types of wave energy converters, WECs, each with their own method of harnessing kinetic wave energy. Some, like this attenuator in the UK, ride the rising and falling motion of the waves and capture energy as they move with two wing-like flaps. Others have a pump that rises and falls from the waves above, pushing water in and out of the machines to generate energy. These submerged pressure differential devices are typically found near the shore and attached to the seabed. Others use the swaying of the waves to make either an eccentric weight or a gyroscope rotate, powering the attached generator. An Italian-based wave energy company is currently working on building this style of rotating mass device system. A large benefit of developing WECs is that wave power is an infinitely renewable energy source. Unlike fossil fuels, wave energy is non-polluting and would greatly help us meet our clean energy goals, as even just 1-2% to of the world's total wave power can provide 13% of our current electricity usage. Wave energy is also reliable. Waves provide a constant source of power, unlike solar and wind energy, which can only be captured at certain times or seasons. Waves are also predictable, and charts can easily be used to map the most efficient locations, often on western coasts, as well as the most efficient times of day according to tides. When comparing a wave and a gust of wind of the same force or speed, the wave will produce much more energy in kilowatt hours because water is 832 times as dense as air. Wave energy generators are also less visually and ecologically disturbing than wind turbines, which are often criticized for obstructing scenic landscapes, being too noisy, and killing birds. Research shows that wave farms can have a conservatory effect on nearby beaches. A study published in Coastal Engineering shows that the presence of a wave farm reduced erosion on the beach up to 50%, which leads to reduced spending on conventional beach preservation measures. However, long-term use of wave farms will significantly change coastal morphology. A leader in WEC research is WaveHub, a wave farm built specifically for the purpose of testing new technologies. Established in 2010, located off the coast of Cornwall, England, the site tests four different kinds of WECs and has the capacity to generate 20 megawatts of power. In 2015, Carnegie Power set up the first system of grid-connected WECs, a fully submerged network of machines that carries desalinated water and clean energy to the shore. Not all projects have been successful, and many have shut down due to inadequate finances and direct competition with the well-funded fossil fuel industry. Aquamarine Power's WECs off the coast of Scotland would have powered 30,000 homes had financing been successful. However, as WECs become more widely researched and funded, production costs will go down and efficiency will rise. Wind energy generators have also experienced financial issues. The Electric Power Institute cited that wave farm technology is cheaper than wind technology was in its infancy, showing that wave energy has the potential to surpass wind energy in terms of cost and efficiency. In order to make wave farms more widespread and beneficial, large financial investments need to be made. Once we crest the financial and technological hill, and WECs become cheap enough to mass produce and install, wave energy will be a force to be reckoned with in the energy business and an improvement to our world overall.